Vanakam, namaste and blessings to everyone. This is Dr. Bhairavi Bala Subramanian, PhD, the Sky Priestess. And right now I'm speaking to you from Taos, New Mexico. I just want to keep this video really short, sweet and simple. The sun is at 22 degrees Sagittarius. Aries is at 22 degrees Aries. They are creating a very, very powerful, fiery trine in the sky. What happens here is that today, all of us are going to be tested to see whether our spiritual paradigms or religious ideas or philosophies or understandings of the greater part that we choose to take in the world, whether all of this stuff, all of our aspirational you know, ideas of where we should be going, whether all of this stuff matches with the reality of who we actually are. So this is going to be a day of truth telling for a lot of people. Sometimes they will realize it within themselves and sometimes situations will present themselves so they realize whether or not they are actually in alignment with the path they claim to be on. And that is not a comfortable experience for many, especially with Mercury retrograde in Sagittarius with Saturn, of course, preparing to leave Sagittarius at the same time. So today you will be presented with events that make you question whether you are truly embodying the prerequisites and the requirements of the path that you choose and wish to take. It's kind of like someone saying, well, I want to be an Olympic swimmer. And then realizing that you don't practice for it, you don't train for it, it's a great ideal, but where are the actual steps to make it happen? Most of you listening to this video are not exactly going to have that much of a gap between what you want and what you do. But you get the gist of it. Eris, in essence, is very much about how the feminine feels excluded from the status quo, how she can actually lash out against the repression that she has faced. In mythology, Eris is excluded from a wedding party. She throws down the golden apple of discord. The goddesses have at it. They choose the Paris, a shepherd or a goat herd or something, to decide who's the most beautiful. And... Uh, Long story short, the Trojan War starts after that. You can look it up. But basically, because Eris did not feel included, she felt that it was okay to start an entire war because she didn't get invitation to a party. That's a bit extreme. But if we look at the essence of that myth and extract what Eris actually means for all of us, it is an opportunity to see the truth of what we feel we are entitled to and just what we will do to get what we want. Just because we're talking about the rising feminine does not mean that the feminine is necessarily 100% sane, safe, or necessarily ethical. There are toxic versions of the feminine just as there are toxic versions of the masculine. And toxic versions of whatever genderless, nameless aspect of experience you want to talk about. It's never, you know, nothing is ever that pure and clean and wonderful as we are often kind of told to believe. So look at the spaces where your desire to embody the feminine results in a toxic response or where you may be able to actually harness those deeper desires in a way that is positive and constructive. There are many, many ways of changing the world. Breaking it down is one way and rebuilding it block by block is another way. And you can choose how you do this. So really, our instinctive drives and actions and responses in the moment today are going to show us just which path we truly walk and whether that matches our talk. So really take stock of yourself, the individuals you experience around you today, to really see who each and every single person is. Let the cards be put forth on the table. Because the kind of transformation that is already unfolding along across the planet, I mean, the, the <laughs> scope and scale of it is immense. And whilst there is an absolute space, an absolute need to honor feminine rage at having been persecuted and suppressed for so long, it is important to make sure that rage, a symptom of the disease the feminine has endured for so long, does not then create a new problem on this planet. Long story short, pay attention to your body, to that instinctive, essential sense of self, and ask yourself, is the road you are walking, is the path you are taking truly in alignment with you?
And if so, celebrate. And if not, what do you do to make it align? And how do you do so in a way that actually creates greater love, greater peace, greater harmony on this planet? That's what I'd like you guys to think about today, if you so wish. Take care and God is blessed. Ciao, ciao for now.